Thank you, Lee. Thanks for coming out tonight. We appreciate you, all your fans joining us here at Dozer Park. I'm joined today by Cody Whitley, one of our relief pitchers. How you doing? Good. Thank you for having me. I, and we uh, got a save yesterday and uh, another win. You guys start the, the homestands here. Uh, it seems like routinely with wins. What is it about uh, the first game of a series, getting back home, getting comfortable that, that you guys are so good at? Uh, I feel like, you know, um, we, we go on long road trips. We just got back from a long one. So uh, we're here at home. We're comfortable. It's where we've been playing all year. So. We, we just seem to play well here at home. Yeah, the the road re or the home record has been fantastic. I'm going to switch mics with you because this one's better, and they'd rather hear you than uh, hear me. So um, you guys played well on that road trip, five and, and one uh, in the state of Michigan uh, on that trip, and then back home to get a win. And it seems like, at least with the pitching staff, and I'm going to go with the bullpen first because that's where, where you are, it doesn't matter what number gets called uh, from, from Chris and Kale or on the road with Tim. It just – come in, throw strikes, and get the job done. What is the mentality in that bullpen with, is, is a collective unit for you guys? Um, throughout the whole bullpen, we just got, uh, we got all guys that can do different things. You know, Blanco's been great for us, CJ, uh, Gordon's here, Pat. I mean, all the guys in there. I consider it a name, but I'm not going to go through all of them. It's just um, we're, uh, we just come out, throw strikes, get ahead, and put guys away, try to get out of the end as fast as possible. I hear you're the guy on the walkie-talkie. Is that true? Is, is, is that the, the most important job? Oh, definitely. That and charges. You know, I, I have to do both because those guys on there, they slack off all the time. So, <laughs> so you're in charge? You're, are you like the, uh, the, uh, the father figure of the bullpen? You're the boss down there? Or no. No? No. no. That's no, that's, not, that's definitely not you. The, the bullpen, and it, it has a reputation everywhere for being kind of like where the wacky characters go. Is, is that accurate? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of uh, weird ones down there, I would say. Uh, Thomas. Once he's a funny guy, and uh, you know, we, we just CJ's always got us laughing down there. Just all, all of us, we just have a good time. For you, I know at the beginning of the year you were prepped to be a starter and uh, and ready to go there. We had crazy weather, and it always seemed to come on the day where it was going to be you. And you turned out uh, in the bullpen and having a fantastic year. What was that transition like for you? I know it was a little rough in in April to to get kind of into your role, but since then you you've really flourished in that role. What was that transition like for you? Um, it, it wasn't too bad, you know, uh, in, in the GCO I did relieve in and coming back from surgery I relieved as well. So it's just, uh, it's just a mentality thing. I don't, I don't really, I mean, pitching's pitching. You, know? you get up there, you throw strikes, it doesn't matter if you're, you're middle relief, starter, uh, relieving. It's, pitching's all the same to me. You're a guy uh, from from a small town, and and you get all this support on Twitter. Every time we every time we mention you, we tag you. Uh, people are going in. Uh, you know, he's, he's the pride of the town. Uh, whether it's it's with your college, or your hometown. So being as far away, and, and obviously there's guys here that are farther away from home, especially those that are, are that are not from the U.S. But you know, you're you're not. We're not in your backyard. People can't come and see you pitch every time, and, and so they're able to follow you on social media. What's that support like, and and what's that mean to you when when you're not in your backyard playing baseball yeah yeah it's all awesome. you know, the one guy uh, mark bogle i think yeah. he, he does it a lot um he uh he coaches at cleveland high school where i played and i, I hang out with them a little bit in the off season and uh yeah it, it's awesome to see that support from them and uh you know it, it, i am a long ways from home but seeing that you know it still brings me a little closer to home seeing that yeah and you get you got to pitch at home uh you know all the way through, and then you, then you leave. What's it like that first time when you, you you know you get drafted? Obviously, you're excited about that. You go through the entire thing, but then all of a sudden you're like, oh wait, I, I don't really know anybody here. There, there's there's nobody here sitting in the stands cheering for me, whether it's family, friends, uh, you know, college mates or whatever. It's like, what, what's that like the first the first couple times? It takes some getting used to. Yeah, uh, it's a little nerve wracking to to start. You know, you don't you feel like you don't know anybody. Um, but you know, most of the guys in this organization, all of the guys in this organization, are great guys. Uh, we all get along with each other great. So, I mean, if, if I know each other or we know somebody for a day or a month, you know, we just we seem to click in this clubhouse. You got the, the former Chiefs tie, which, which you may not even know, but the former Chiefs tie to, to the hometown with Chris Archer. Yeah. So you got that, not the same high school, but the, the same hometown. So you got that tie. He was here in 2009. Obviously, he's uh, worked his way up and had a really yeah. good career and been an all-star. So you, you kind of got a former Chiefs tie. Is there, uh, is there any connection through there, you, uh, you know, back at home or any, anything along those lines? Uh, I actually didn't know that Archer played here, but yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, to know 2009. That, but, um, I, I don't, I'm not really close with him, but uh, I, I've seen him, you know, a couple years back at camps and stuff like that. But 
he's a really good dude, and he does a lot for the community there as well. We need to get more people here on the team from your hometown because we made the playoffs in 09 when he was here, and yeah. we've already quenched the playoff spot this year. So we're two for two when <laughs> we got guys yeah, from Clayton. We're about good. Clayton, isn't yeah, it? That's right. We got something there. Um, golf game. What, what do you got? I've heard stories about your golf game. Uh, I'm all right. You're all right? Not too bad, yeah. Uh, when I had, I think it was a Frank told me you were the, the best guy out there, right, on the, on the team? Is that uh, not true? You can't say that about yeah. yourself? Okay, yeah. then let me ask you this then. If you take yourself out of the equation of the guys on the team, who's got the, who's got the best golf game? Uh, the, the best golf game on, on this team? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure. No? There's, it, there's no, there, none of us are really good. So, so is it more fun to say who's got the worst golf swing? It, it's more like hunting golf balls when we go on the golf course <laughs> okay. than it is uh, actually playing golf. So that, it's all of us, even me is, as well. Is, is Franken again? Uh, every now and then he hits every, a straight every, drive. <laughs> uh, I'd say one out of ten. Okay, so if, if we had to pick a, uh, a pitcher who was going to take in at bat for us that mattered, who do we want in that batter's box? Uh, I'd definitely say CJ. I mean, he hit in, he hit in college. Yeah. Okay. I, I think y'all have said that before, uh, yeah. but I, I'd have him up there. So that, that's who you, yeah, that's yeah. you, that's who you go with now. Um, we've had some guys, the position players, that have pitched. So if you needed to get an out from a position player – I'm not going to let you pick the new guy, Baker, because uh, he had a, a really good numbers at, at TCU his, his freshman year. But other than that, who, who are you putting on the mound? That's a tough one. Uh, I, I pitched a little bit okay. in, in high school, and yeah. he's always talking smack to me about how he can pitch. So Okay. We, we might let him get a little inning on yeah, the mound. So he's, who knows? He's, cl he's clapping for you, yeah, so he, he, like, he likes that answer. Uh, <laughs> two catcher. We're going we're gonna to end on, on a little bit more serious note if we had some fun. We got two fantastic catchers here, and uh, Dennis Ortega and Julio Rodriguez, and, and they take the run game uh, kind of completely away from, from all the other teams and some of these crazy pickoffs at third base or first base or, or whatever it might be. What's it been like for you? Obviously, you throw to one in the bullpen, and then you come into the mound, and you throw to the other uh, when they're in games. But how how much have those two meant to uh, to you personally and, and to this pitching staff this season and, and our team success? Uh, both both of those guys are great. You know, uh, you can trust them with throwing your all speed in the dirt. Like you said, uh, you walk a guy, a guy gets a hit. Um, as long as you have a good time to the plate and you give those guys a chance, and they're, most of the time they're, they're going to throw runners out. And as you said, the, the back pick at third base, I, I was a part of that game That's in extra right. innings. and. Ortega, Ortega, Ortega really saved me that game. So uh, kind of did. He did it last night too. Just yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't ring it up. I, I feel like both of them are, are picking guys off yeah. and throwing guys out every game. So it, it's been awesome to to throw to them, and and they're both great dudes too. So I like sitting here because we're the same height when we're sitting down like this. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're eye to eye right now. Yeah, we'll cut the camera off before we stand up. <laughs> so you, you, you threw that out there before we went, but see, I, 40 years old, I, it's not news that, to me that I'm short. So, um, but we got that now. We're same, we're same high eye level here sitting down. Yeah. Appreciate yeah, it. I love right here. One thing we're going to throw out there uh, with Cody before we take off, you see this jersey he's wearing, the Distillers jersey. You can go online, chiefs.gesture, G-E-S-T-U-R-E.com. Bid on these jerseys. Uh, we'll wear them again tomorrow night. Bidding goes until 9 o'clock tomorrow. Money goes to the Peoria Historical Society. And then the hat. They got the PD hat, too. You can buy those up in the uh, team store. 30 bucks for the Flex Fit, 35 for the Fitted hit. It, Fitted hats, and they're available online as well. Cody? Thank you very much. Great job last night. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Cody Whitley picked up his sixth save of the year last night. We thank you all for joining us. One last thing. Pitch in for a charity. Raising money tonight for the Southside Office of Concern. And we'll have post-game fireworks coming up as well. Thanks for spending your Thursday with us here at Dozer Park.